mean 26 minutes and 5 seconds? You get the fisticuffs, that's what he's telling me up there. Alright, I'll tell you what. I don't know what's going on, but look. Something's happened to me sponge. Now that does look like teeth marks to me. Hmm. Someone's been eating a sponge. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> it's not my fault they're tasty, alright? I want to eat it now. It makes me salivate. I've got to put it away. It makes me just want to eat. I don't swallow, alright? I don't swallow. It's a bit of hell. But I want to swallow. Oh, it's just juicy. It's just juicy. Anyway, today, hey. Oh, there it is. I have lost my marbles. I have lost my marbles. And I stink of garlic because I had curry. That doesn't even go. So I went to Marks and Sparks today. Um, I don't usually shop in Marks and Sparks. And I tell you the truth, I wish I hadn't have done because now I'm a few quid lighter. The pockets. I mean, when you're at my purse, the moths fly out of it, do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, it ain't because I don't open it, it's because I've got no cash. But anyway, I did spend what I had, and now I'm down in the dumps. But anyway, what I've got today is I've got a mixed bag. So I've got a couple of bits from the pound shop, and I have a couple of bits from Marks and Spencer's that I bought. So uh, when I went in there, so I thought, oh, and I didn't realise they'd got like a sushi station. I was like, ooh. But I didn't buy any, because it didn't look like there was enough sauce on there. Now, my nails, look, so we've got one, two off here, and this one is off here. So I am going to take the rest off. I don't know when, because I just haven't really felt like it, but I need to get them off, because I need to put the ones on that my beautiful Zoe sent me, the Tipex Five Angles one. They need to go on. I cannot wait. I'm so excited to do it, but it's just the ones that have come off have come off, but these ones, look... These have got about another four weeks until they pop off. So, you know, I've got to drill them and it takes ages to drill. I have got a curry breath though. I've got garlic going on. I'm so glad I'm about to kiss my tongue, I tell you. Because he'd be like, oh, the death breath. <laughs> Look at the chin. I don't think them, them little mono threads did absolutely anything, did they? Look, still got the doubler. What can you do? Oh no! I've sat on the floor. I forgot me put me bean bag down. You know what I'm gonna do? I just had an idea. Do you know how far to get off this bean bag once you sit on it? The other day I fell off it. Yeah, quite comfy. Uh, anyway, so today, okay, like I say, I've got a mixed bag. I've got Marks and Sparks, Marks and Spencers. Uh, I've got some Poundland. And then I've got some jewellery for you lot. Yes, for you lot. And um, it's over there. I can't bother to get it. I am going to send you a Victoria's Secret perfume with it as well can i just say though i'm really 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 sorry this is for uk only i've sent two parcels to algeria and both of them come back to me uh, i sent one from someone who won last time they haven't said if they've received it or not and yet, that one hasn't yet to come back to me but um i went and sent a box uh, uh, some goodies to my beautiful one of my beautiful subscribers on here and because uh, it was the US I sent to 25 quid yeah you knew you had to pick me up off the floor when I was what because Zoe sent uh, spent 30 dollars sending me that tipex uh, five angles I was like 25 quid some people walk the lane don't get paid that do you get what I mean? 25 quid. I was like, oh. But anyway, yeah. So I did that. But like I say, I haven't really got 25 squids to be sending abroad. Why is it so expensive? It's just ludicrous. So, um, is it, is it, does anyone know of any other way? I don't suppose there is another way, is there? When it was sat on my bed, I can't look at it. It's just a little fluff, but I don't want it there. So I've got a hoover that after. Um, yeah, does anyone else know any... Uh, but I don't suppose there is another way. A parcel's a parcel, right? 
So I suppose it is, that's what it is. It is what it is, it is what it is, that's what it is, it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, anyhow, any bleeding hue. Uh, oh, and before I do, I said I'd remember, one of my gorgeous subscribers said to me the other day, oh, I half like your lipstick and lip line, and I actually didn't say it like that, because I don't actually know how she talks, because it was on a text message, you know, a comment. So I don't know. But anyway, I bought it to show you. So it is, I had on this revolution, the problem, oh, hang on, no, if I put on the glasses, <laughs> where well, I can see probably, hang on, so it's revolution, and the colour, my belly's working its way around, I can hear it gurgling, it makes me want to puke, greatest, is it called greatest, oh, okay, so it's revolution, lip liner, in the colour greatest, I found the greatest love of all, it's happening to me, Eat your heart out, Whitney. All right, so that's what that is. Uh, greatest by Revolution, all right. Um, so I had that lip liner on. And this lipstick. Now, these I got from, I think it was the TikTok shop. Was it TikTok shop or was it Team You? You know it's in one of me yours, but don't ask me which one because oh, I don't remember. All right. Um, yeah, so it's called Handayan. And Diane, thanks for the love lip set. And uh, that's what it looks like. And it's got these little mini lippies inside. Stay. Like so. And I believe I can fly. Woo! I believe it was this colour. And it has, an, oh, number, number three. Which figures? Because it's number three in the box. And it looks like this. So I believe that is the colour that I add on. I'm thinking it is. I'm hoping it is. If not, I've got I've got so many lipsticks and lip liners. It's just absolutely ridiculous. All right, it's ridiculous. Anyhow, let's get on with this. All right, let's let's get this show on the road. I want to tell you something about my CBT, but I can't because she might watch this. Then she might beat me up. But I wanted to give her the cups the other day. Anyway, let's get on. You know that time of the day. It's time for my laugh on the loo with you, girl. I'm confused. Loo. Right. Acupuncture. A jab well done. <laughs> A boiled egg is hard to beat the geography teacher discovered that a theory of earthquakes was on shaky ground excuse me if I burp it's just a you know a curry burp in a democracy it's your vote that counts in feudalism it's your count that votes what's feudalism is that when you have an argument with someone like a feud probably not that. in my stomach Told you, works its way around. Oh, it's awful. It's awful. A chicken crossing the road. Poultry in motion. <laughs> I don't mind that one. With her marriage, she got a new name and a dress. Not bad. When a clock is hungry, it goes back four seconds. Goes back four seconds. Four seconds. You better be getting this, you lot, I tell you. I was given some dead batteries the other day. They were free of charge. Did you hear about the man whose whole left side was cut off? He's all right now. To write with a broken pencil is pointless. Once you've seen one big shopping centre, you've seen them all. Ah, I like that. You've seen them all. Them all. You've seen them all. Let's oh, it the last one oh, look, I'm quite comfy now reading this one here uh, I dreamt last night that I had written the Lord of the Rings my wife said I'd been Tolkien in my sleep yeah I quite like them I, I, I do alright I do I think they were magnificent actually and that was my laugh on the loo with you girl I've got a good haul coming up loo yes is this my last page now 
<gasps> I've only got one more page and the book's done. I'll read you that next time. Anyway, you also know that time of day. It's time for my 1,227 facts to blow your shock. Yes, it is indeed. The first holiday organised by Thomas Cook was a temperance outing in the East Midlands. What the bleeding hell was a temperance outing? Temperance. Temperance. It's some, no, it's not something to do with having a bad temper, obviously, but I don't know. Beijing, Seoul and Tokyo all mean capital in their respective languages. Well, that's something I didn't know. Athens, I've been to Athens, is the only capital city in Europe where the air is more polluted outside than inside. <coughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I can't say that made my ass. I'll tell you, my ass has been horrendous. Has any of you got asthma and has anyone's asthma got much worse? If so, please let me know in your com in the comment section. Because even with my foster, it ain't helping, mate, I tell you. Yeah. Skoda is check for shame, damage or pity. Oh, is that why if you had a Skoda back in the day, you were frowned upon? A Skoda... A Robin Reliant like old Dell Boy drives or a larder. My mum's friend had a larder and I'm not being funny. It weren't even just a larder. It was absolutely green. Green like a Humphrey. Like a Bogart colour green. Like you know when you're really ill and you're getting the Humphreys coming out and they are bright green with a little orangey hue. That's what her larder looked like. I can't believe her boys actually sat in it. Poor little sods, they must have been like, oh, cover me up now. I mean, having the larder was bad enough, but green. Come on, Shirley, what was she doing? That was her name, Shirley. She was my mum's friend, but I don't think my mum's seen her in years. But anyway, that's my 1,227 facts to blow your shark shaft. And I need to catch up with EastEnders because I've not seen it in a while. Yes. Oh, Lisa. What a pillock. Anyway, where are we now? I want to do some with your others, all right? Can you do that? Well, would you rather find... Oh! I've not even been sat down here long. And I'm in a, I'm a, in a, in a pain. Wonder. I'm trying to rest. I was telling Callie, I'm trying to rest my belly on it, but it ain't working. She's got big booby wooby macarubies. You know, I haven't. <clears throat> my little fripping is like a couple of bee stings, fried eggs, whatever you want to call them. But my granddad, apparently, his sisters, so my mum's aunties, that would be, their booby woobies were so big that when they used to get home from work, they'd have to rest them on pillars. Yeah. So that's where Kelly gets it from. Skip me, skip me. They were like, we're not giving you any. Not giving you any. Oh, what's this? I've done that one. I think my would you rather's are coming to an end as well. But don't worry. I've got other books in there. So you're not getting away from it, all right? Right, would you rather constantly have dry eyes or constantly have a runny schnoz bucket? I'm going to have to go with the runny schnoz bucket because imagine how uncomfortable it would be if you've got dry eye. Yeah. Would you rather live 100 years in the future or 100 years in the past? I'm going back. 100 years, please. But then I don't want to be in the war. Would that put me in the war times? I don't want to be in the First or Second World War. But then in 100 years in the future, it's going to just be virtual reality anyhow and you. So I don't know. That's a hard one. I'm, st I'm definitely going back. I've got to live through the 80s, all right? So I'm going back. Let me do one more. One more time, one more night, I'm going to celebrate. And there it goes. Would you rather have x-ray vision or be able to shapeshift? Ah, oh, I want to shapeshift. I'd love to be a shapeshifter. In fact, I'd love to be a werewolf. Yes. Then anyone who's annoyed me, I'm going to claw them. And then bite them with my big fangs. All right. Anyway, that was my would you rather. Sorry, I come out strong. Don't worry about the barn, it looks a mess. I did have it sort of out today, but I've just put it up so it don't get in my way. 
when I'm doing my stuff. Anyway, let me put me olive glass on. Oh, awesome. There we go. So I've got a little mixed bag, a couple of bits and bobs. Then I'm going to show you. I've got a giveaway for you guys. Jewelry. It's not Ishna's bucket. Oh, yeah, I have some snot on my jacket. <laughs> not really. Anyway, even if you did have my snot, it's all right. It's clean. I'm joking. Right, so anyway, I went into the pound shop first and foremost. And in the pound shop, I were ripped off. Because I see this and I thought, ooh, that looks nice. It is a golden boudoir, just to know the name. I thought, ooh, yeah. And it's a salted caramel bath foam. Yeah, and it looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? But on one part of the store, it said a squid, right? And that's when I picked it up. But, oh, no, it ends up it had been put in wrong place. And it was actually £2.50. Yeah, yeah, I tell you what, these people, these people, they got working in Poundland. <gasps> oh, excuse me. It was Poundland. Yeah, it was Poundland, yeah. But anyway, I just thought, well, I'll just leave it. I'll add it there. Uh, anyway, and then, you're my best friend. No, it's not bleach. It is quantum toilet quilted new longer rolls nine of them to wipe my batty crease because well because i just need to imagine me on the loo 30 or 30 times a day 35 times a day not being able to wipe the batty crease why am i itching my nose my nose is either runny or itchy i tell you it does me in so i've got some of them and they were three pounds something um, luxury toilet tissue. I don't know. They feel like they're kind of tiny. I don't know. Like my boobs. Uh, and then I've got some free bubble wrap, bubbly wrappy envelopes to send off a couple of parcels. Then I've got these because I absolutely love these. Extra 75 extra large freezer bags. How much were them envelopes? One pound or one pound something i can't remember but these extra large freezer bags were about uh one pound 25 something like that but you know these are amazing because what i do is i put different things in them but also you know if you're going to put something in the old microwave instead of covering it with cling film these are massive you shove your plate in there whack it in the oven take it off this bit you know put it in the bin Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your auntie, and there's your cooked food. So I definitely highly recommend them. Definitely. And you get 75 in there. And then I got, come here, come hither. Then I got uh, some Whitworth's Snacking Cashew Nuts. Wish a foot or a par around the Yuching Poochie. They were a pound. And then these were 125. Huh. Listen, there's about 10 in there, so you know what I mean? I don't know if it was worth it. I think I was ripped off, but I do love a pistachio, a pistachio nut. So they was one, did I say one by Yeah. Uh, snacking, another packet of Whitworth's so. pistachio nuts. Pistachio nuts. And then, and then Cadbury's Dairy Milk Dime and some naughty person. It weren't me. So there's only four left. And I think there was eight in there altogether. I give Callie one. I give my sister one. So where's the other two gone? They've just disappeared into thin air. Magic. Dynamo. <laughs> so I've got them. Yeah, it was me. I ate the other two. Who knew? <laughs> anyway. Then I've got these apples in there. And there's quite a lot in there. So there's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. Eleven apples for one pound something. And maybe they, they was grown in Poland. Yeah. Oh, I've got hiccups now. It's that <gasps> curry. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm going to have the old indigestion later, too. Yeah, for you, Jean Poo, Jean Tarapara. Anyway, then I thought, right, as you know, I've been to... Uh, Marks and sparks. Oh, oh no, now I've got hiccups. If this continues, I'll have to stop it until it goes. Stop, stop. 
Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm actually a bit erratic today, I think, you know. Oh, God, don't mind me. Oh, oh no. I've got to stop it. I think they stopped, but I can't be too sure. One might pop up again in a minute. Anyway, so I went into Marx's. Like, so I don't usually go into Marx's, but I did today. Um, it's a nice big one as well. And do you know when I was in there, I see these pair of boots. They're beautiful. They're 120... Is it 125? I think 125 down to 59. They were real leather. Knee-eye boots. I tried them on. And, oh, they look really nice. I really liked them. And I was sitting there going, hmm. Mm, you know, because it's so expensive. I really wanted them. But in the end, I just realised I'm poor and can't afford them. <laughs> so I put them back. But having said that, then I ended up spending money on stuff I don't really need and ended up with this although it was shopping as well I ended up kind of spending similar but I did get obviously dinner for tonight and a couple of other bits and bobs but in amongst that I thought I'd keep these bits back to show you yeah so I got this um fabric conditioner concentrated and it's violet leaf and orchid now this must be the best smelling one because there was only a couple left um and it really does smell absolutely beautiful oh my goodness it's just stunning it is and it's one and a half liters which is a big one and that was three pound fifty so definitely definitely i highly recommend marx's fabric conditioners the smells are beautiful you know like that other stuff the wilton stuff i got they're kind of like that uh and then i got the um italian lemon and ginger washing up liquid and again the smell is oh the smells are just phenomenal oh so nice absolutely gorgeous so that's the washing up liquid um, oh, that was £2.50, I believe. Was it £2.20 or £2.00? It could have been £2.20. It could have been £2.50. It was one of the two. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. My uh, Someone was asking me, is it another part of me um, that's hurting or is it my liver? But I believe it's my liver because it's all here. Oh, I don't know. I can't be sure. Um, anyway, and then I got this plant-based, oh, this is all plant-based as well, multi-surface cleaner, tackles grease with a streak-free shine, antibacterial, antiviral, and that's in almond and sweet orange. Now, I haven't undone it, um, but I've got a feeling it's going to be gorgeous, and I think that was also, I think that was about £3, something like that. So, yeah, I got... All the same range, obviously, just got different scents. I was just like, I'm getting it, I am, I want it, and I got it, and that was it. You know, now we should have just like thought, you know, let me just walk the lane, earn myself some dosh, get the boots. But I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I, I probably couldn't even give it away, do you know what I mean? Let me try and sell it. Anyway, and then, if anybody has never smelt this, get your A, a stand to Marks and Sparks. They've got this in shower cream, and I wanted the shower cream, or like the... But not shower cream. Yeah, it was shower gel. But it was £8.50 for the shower gel. And I was like, am I off Charles? I don't think so. So I just got this. And you got to say, well, what's the difference, Lee? You still paid a fiver for this. I know, but a fiver just sounds better in my head, all right? So I got this. Um, calm. Although I can tell a lot of you now, some of you already know. Uh, I'll speak about it a bit more in depth at another time, but I'm going to swear, yeah, my bastard landlord is selling. So I've only been in this area for two years and I was at my last place a year and I've only been here eight months. It took me days to do that flower wall behind there and all the things I do. My OCD took me days to clean this bastard house. All the walls, all the ceilings, not been here eight months, only put a clock up a little while back. And now the bastard, and you're going to have to let me off, all right? Some of you might not like, not like swearing. You've got to say, come on, man, give this girl a break. The bastard has decided to sell. So now, yeah, I'm back to square one again. Now, I've got to go and try and now 
sort myself out. Removals again, £1,500. Deposits again, a couple of grand. Piss off. Piss off is all I can say. And that's on top of all my other problems. Yes, all my medical problems, all my mental health problems, on top of just everything. Um, yeah, don't know what to say. When I was first told, I was quite sitting there crying like a bitch. I don't think I've got any, any, any tears left. The tears are dried, all right? The tears are dried. My brain has dried. My whole body is dried. I'm just a frazzled piece of nothing, all right? So if I want to spend a fiver on a freaking hand soap, I'm going to do it. But I was, I did say to Cal, but you know, I need to practice what I preach. Let's like not buy things like this because then it's it's more to pack and take. But because of my OCD, it, it, you know, even hand wash, it doesn't last long. It doesn't last long in this place, and I think it really cut off again, didn't it? Stupid thing. So annoying. So as I say, you know, I can't remember what I was saying actually, but. I know it was about moving, but uh, yeah, so I thought if I want it, I'm getting it, and I did, and I, that's it, but yeah, I've got, a, <clears throat> so I've got to sort of now, like, start sorting out bits and bobs and, like, things I don't wear, I'll just chuck them onto good old Vintardo or whatever, oh, I've also got some silver stuff as well, like, jewellery and stuff that I don't really wear, I'm going to have to chuck that on, um, but I mean, really and truly, I could do with, like, getting rid of some of my ornaments and stuff, my bling, but I can't, you know what I mean? I'm like a magpie. It's got to stay close to me. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyway. Oh, I don't really want to talk about it. So, I'm going to not talk about it, and I'm going to go straight on to... Pum, 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 pum. This beautiful blue box. In this box... Is some bits for you guys, yeah. So for you to win my cast offs, because that's what my arm there's a couple of new bits in there though. But um, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. And all I want you to write if you want this box of goodies in the comment section is what I usually say jewelry. Please, that's all you're gonna need to do. Right, anyway, um I will be back. I better stand up for a minute because I'm in a lot of pain. One minute. I was in so much pain, I've come and sat on my bean bag. It does seem to like help because it pushes like my bum up at the back with the beads in there. The only thing is I don't like about it, it gives me a double chin because I want a funny angle. Um I just wish there was another way that I could sit on it. I'm wondering if I can, like, raise this up a bit. Hmm. Hey, let me try it with a toilet roll. Stay there, guys. <laughs> That's better, but I've not always got bog rolls available to use as a stand. You know what I mean? Well, I still feel like I've got a double chin. Anyway, so I've got a few bits and bobs here for you uh, i'm going to show you what's in there and as i say you just need to like subscribe and leave a comment saying jewelry please and this little box of stuff i will send it in this box will be yours so i'm gonna take it out bit by bit oh sorry wiggly woggly so the first thing is these pair of earrings they are absolutely beautiful um oh went the wrong way. like so just birds and, and again, any bits in here that are brand new, you can always give them away as gifts yourself. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to keep them. Um, and then I'll show you this last because that's fresh. Then I've got two pairs of Illuminous earrings. So an orange pair. Oh, this, they're not stuck together, but you know what I mean. An orange pair and a, a Luminous yellow pair. Brand new pair of earrings. Post ones. Yep. I bought you an epilator. So, as you know, these epilators. Oh, it's a nice colour, this one. It's pink. Ooh, look at that colour. 
How lovely is that colour? I've got covered in dust. It's dusty. It must be dusty in the warehouse. Yeah. Anyway, that. Uh, epilator. And uh, if you use this, oh my God, just don't use it under your pits, on your face or your Fangelica because it will bring you up in a rash. But for your legs and all your arms and that, yeah, it's beautiful. So there's a little epilator that I've chucked in there, like so. Uh, and then I have these. A lot of it is mainly earrings, to be honest. Uh, some Lovisa ones, which are brand new. and then I've got two pairs of these so there's a gold pair and a blue pair I've worn these before now listen like I say a lot of these earrings yes I have worn them but you can sterilise them I told you how to do it alright and if you don't remember I'll tell you now all you need to do yeah is get a lighter you can get a bit of rubbing alcohol or something if you want as well. Just rub it with a bit of cotton wool. Yeah, I ain't got hepatitis or anything like that. But I wouldn't want to put probably... I say that. I have bought earrings from a charity shop. But I know how to sterilise them. So then it's fine if you put them in your ears. So you can put a bit of rubbing alcohol on them. Um, or even in a bit of soapy water. And then you just burn them with a lighter. And so you sterilise them, alright? So two pairs of them. And then again, you'd have seen me wear these before. These are my little multicoloured stuff. I've got to start clearing out all my gums, haven't I? Them. Because I just can't do it. I can't do it. No, I can't. These are really unusual earrings. I hear Callie on the phone. Uh, a silver bracelet. A stretchy one. Uh, a ring, a gold ring with the jangly one with the evil eye to keep the evil people at bay. A brooch pin with pearls on. This is brand new as well. Another pair of gold earrings. I wore these on Christmas Day. Some ball balls. These are brand new. Never been worn these ones. Orange ones. They're nice for holiday, aren't they? Again, they're post post earrings with the bit at the back there. Off. Then this one, this one goes into the hole, like so, and then you clip it over the top of your ear. What a genius invention that is. Then, just bring it here. Where are you, you little sausage? Where's the other one? Oh, I'll have a look in a minute. Uh, and then there's these ones, like so, nice them ones, aren't they? And then there's a gorgeous little rope ring, like so. Oh, put your foot. Oh, now I've knocked you all, all about. Um, some dangly earrings, a ring, I've probably worn this a couple of times, it's quite a big size though this ring, huh? then these gorgeous Antique. Now these are antique and I don't even know if they're worth a bit of money. I don't know. I should have got them checked. How do you if they're real diamonds? Because you know something's telling me that if they are you ain't having them. So I, was... <laughs> I should have got. It's just that they sparkle too much. 
And I picked these up from a charity shop. But when I look at them compared to others, they just seem to sparkle too much. They're just little clip-ons. You may or may not get them, all right? I know, you bet you're thinking, oh, you can't do that. I know. I know it's a bit out of us, but I don't know. They just look far too shiny. Oh, but anyway, I'll put them in there for now. <laughs> uh, and then a nice pair of dangly earrings, like studs with like dangles on. And then this is, uh, well, you know, I'm not doing it anymore, so I thought, you know what, I can give it away. I used to be really interested in, um, is it called toddler play? You know, so I did enjoy drinking from bottles and wearing nappies. But obviously, to wear a nappy, um, especially with the books, you know, it's going to be a rather big nappy and a normal size safety pin. It just ain't going to cut the mustard. So I had to get an industrial size pin. <laughs> like this. And, you know, when I put the nappy on it, it fitted all right. Obviously not really. But Pete will do that. I swear, I kid you not. And... This was sent to me in a package, like a mystery box. And I was like, I ain't never seen a safety pin. I mean, it's, it's as big as me hand. I've got big hands for a girl, look. It's nearly as big as my hands. It's bigger than Callie's hands. And it is massive. It's like two inches across. What would that be useful? Apart from a nappy, an adult nappy. I don't know. If anyone knows what that could have been used for, let me know. But that's going, oh, I don't know. Or, or is it just a really fashionable, like, you know, brooch? You tell me, I don't know. But that's going in as well. Huge. Anyway, this is the star of the show because it's worth a little bit of money. And that is why, hence, it is in this bag. Um, so these are by... I shall tell you. Oi, sod off. Right, first of all, yeah. Um, hang on a minute. Oh, not this one. Not this one. What are you doing? All right, let me put that there and that there. Right, first of all, I believe this is Sterling 925 and it is Pilgrim. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of Pilgrim. But this is the bracelet, and it says Pilgrim on it. Where does it say Pilgrim? Hang on. Let me just find... Ah, oh, there. Focus. I don't know if you can see it. It says Pilgrim, and it is absolutely beautiful. I'll put it on, show you. Like so. It's got all these beautiful colours in it, as you can see gorgeous colours so this is like say the star of the show and I'll be sending this as well so that's the bracelet as you can see it's beautiful and then it has a gorgeous beautiful this is beautiful hang on, let me see. pilgrim necklace look at this isn't that gorgeous and I believe this is 925, I think. And it's on um, a, what is that, Albert sort of chain tea bar. Does up with a tea bar. Like a heart and a tea bar. Look, look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, stay around the right way. I need to put it on. Sorry, you've seen me bingos. But yeah. Gorgeous it is. And it's pretty, it doesn't look as big on there. It is big. It's quite a big, big heart. Oh, it's beautiful, though. It is beautiful. So, like I say, so the 925 Pilgrim bracelet, and it, again, that's very thick, gorgeous, and the necklace. So, that is it. That is what you will get. Oh, I've showed you, plus the Pilgrim stuff. So, if you are interested in it, uh, and can I just say... For everyone who watches um, my videos, sometimes when I do these, 
Um, people will like, like I, I might have done it in a two weeks time or two and a half weeks time and the parcels would have been sent off and people will say, oh, uh, they're right underneath, oh, jewellery please, I'm like, it's, it's already gone, so really if you are interested in this, um, check the dates or whatever from when I uploaded it because really if it's been over about a week and a half, two weeks max, it's going to already have gone. I don't really like to wait and wait. And this one I'm going to do even sooner. So if you do watch the video and you are interested in these bits, just please uh, like, subscribe and write your comment at the bottom because I reckon... I reckon I might maybe buy... What is today? Wednesday. By next Wednesday, I'm going to draw the winner because, like I say, I want to start... I need to start... I can't have too much stuff lying around hence why if if anyone has got birthdays well one particular person on here uh, it's her birthday coming up soon I'm not going to say because she may not want people to know but you know who you are um, and I'm going to probably have to get your stuff out before your birthday as well because like I say I've got a now nice start I've, I've already put stuff in for the charity shop and stuff like that um, so obviously I want to just like you know especially with OCD this is it's Oh, I don't know, it's just driving me absolutely bonkers, so I need to clear out as much as I can, I've got some stuff gone on Vinted, I've got to put more stuff on Vinted, um, yeah, so like I say, I'm probably going to leave this a week, and then it's a, it's a going out, and then I want to keep you to keep your eyes peeled, because um, a little in a little while's time, once I've reached, let's say 1,500 subscribers, I have a really beautiful, heavy sterling silver chain that I'm going to be giving away. It is so heavy. It is beautiful. If you can have a look there. You see this? Focus. And that's sterling silver. I think it's about 16 inches. And I will be sending this Cartier ring with it. So, what does it say inside? You probably can't see. Excuse my now. Look at that. Oh, God. So, I don't know if you can see. There you go. Um, yeah. So, I will be sending. Don't worry about this bleeding bit now. I will be sending this Cartier ring with this. So, that, this is a bleeding good gift. All right. Um, but that will be when I reach a big one. And I know there's only two items, but obviously them two items will probably be about five times more expensive than that whole bundle I've sent you there. So, yeah, this will be the next, uh, so keep your eyes out. That will be my next giveaway. Uh, I just need to put that back. So, anyway, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe and press your notification bell because it will tell you every time that I upload. Um, if you do want to uh, win all the bits I've just showed you, not these, though they're for the next one, but everything I've just showed you along with the Pilgrim, Pilgrim necklace and bracelet, just subscribe to my channel as I've said. I've probably said it a million times already on here. Like, subscribe and comment. Jewelry, please. And I'm probably going to do the um, the giveaway next Wednesday. I've got to sort these out. They're making me feel absolutely putridly sick, all right? But anyway, listen, I hope you all have a lovely evening, whatever you're doing. It's pretty dark now, pretty late, so I'm going to go and make myself a cup of Rosie Blancs um, and uh, get ready for Big Brother. I might have already started, though. I don't know, so I'll have to watch the second one. Anyway, uh, I love you all very much. Uh, thank you for the lovely comments, as I always say. You can to me and cows uh appreciate it and i love you all very much and i'll see you on my next video bye everyone